and crafts. And those are some of the elements for today's show, especially music. But for now though, let's see what the Netbank Hub, together with some of the last 16 teams, did for the development of Disky in Mzanzi. A group of students from two Durban schools had an opportunity to attend a Golden Arrows training session at the Moses Mabida Mustering Field and met some of the players. Today we find ourselves on the outer fields of the Moses Mabida Stadium where we have the Le Montville Golden Arrows Media Day and in conjunction with that we've invited three schools within our community in which we've handed over soccer kits through to the children. It's a wonderful day, a wonderful day to just connect with the youth and to let the kids see what professional soccer looks like, for them to aspire to grow and nurture their talents to one day grace these fields. Uh, Nedbank is proud to be able to provide them with the kit and be it coaching apparatus and the physical kit that helps them feel good about themselves and, and, and feed those hopes and dreams for them to aspire to be professional footballers one day. I think it's a good thing, you know, it will help development in, in, in terms of development in football for South Africa and I think it will help players as well, you know, to play for something, you know, they know they, they, they score a goal and then they will donate, you know, uh, to, to in, 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 in building, you know, uh, the facilities for development in South Africa, uh, sponsored by NetBank. I think uh, the players as well, they've got a, a, a role to play in order to participate in that building and that, that facility. Uh, so I think it's a good uh, idea and I think it will help more uh, and players, you know, to get more goals, you know, it's in more encouragement as well. I grew up in a difficult situation whereby uh, I grew up where there was no grass, you know, it was only soil whereby we didn't even have like nets for the goals, you know. So I think now things are getting better and then obviously my encourage to to uh, communities is, you know what, I, I'm happy to see that the facilities have they've been improved compared to where, where they were before, you know, so I, I'm quite impressed. I'd just like to wish everybody well to the youth that were here today. Wear the, wear the, the kit with pride. Go out there and take the skills that you've learned on the soccer field and what you've learned in the classroom and apply it back into the communities in which you live. And let's make South Africa a wonderful place. And another Devon-based team, Amazulu, hosted their press conference ahead of their last 16 net bank match, also at Moses Mabida, and they invited two local schools for the experience. When you see the kit that has been donated now, in terms of it's, it's new and it's great to get a, a new kit, and uh, it, it just uh, enhances the uh, not only the self-belief, but it helps with the self-esteem of uh, a boy or a girl. So it's great when we see this. And as I said, you know, uh, it, it's that belief and, and belonging to a, a team. So that there's a lot of value in, in all it's doing, and it's great that uh, Netbank has come along to see to see the importance of uh, um, funding or donating. Um, and uh, supporting the, the youth in this form. The Baldegi is scary because Abanya when you want to engage with Gama Trags, Kanti Lentens and Amsa and Jayinga Tunisima Miss School. Bagwas would see by Bati the Nepola, Kuba Kota Matrags. This has also made us to sort of excel because our kids are now confident in knowing that they have a uniform, they have some sport coats, they have some sport equipment that they can use at school. We are in an area where um, we don't have a number of uh, sports facilities, we don't have enough uh, fields for soccer, for netball and stuff like that. So by, uh, when NetBank uh, uh, nominated us, we felt that at least we are going to be moving forward with our sport coats. When I see these guys here, coming and they are receiving kids which we were not getting at our childhood early stage. Actually, I'm so happy for them, you know, because these are the things that usually draws back most, like most of the youngsters, because they don't have the resources, they don't have facilities, so they'll end up saying, so what's the use of playing football when I don't even have the kit, I don't even have the boots, no socks, but for now with these guys, they must be happy, you know, that they are getting everything. And I'm sure one day we will see them playing. Maybe one of those guys I will play with him. You never know because these days 
football is being played by youngsters and we want youngsters to keep up the game running fast. Morocco Solos hosted a group of students at the Dobsonville Stadium in Soweto ahead of their Net Bank Cup fixture against Super Sports United and they handed over more soccer kids. Sports is something that unites the world and it's something that NetBank is passionate about. Over 20 years, Sport Trust together with NetBank have been involved. We've donated about 20 million of monies whereby clients um, actually um, ask to, to actually be involved in the sports affinity. The more they utilize their accounts, the more the NetBank will obviously donate the money to the sport. So it's something that you're passionate with. It's something that comes from the heart from, from NetBank. So, yes. I think if you want to develop the, the, the stars of the future, you're going to start with sports development. Um, it's, it's the most crucial part of, of youth. It's the most crucial part of any country. Uh, if you apply sports development in the right direction, you will benefit, you will, you will reap the benefit in the long run. Um, and the fact that you, you have a program to do, uh, to implement a sports program is, is huge for the kids. It, it builds the, uh, the foundation for what you have to do as an adult uh, athlete. It was awesome. It's like ah, it didn't come true for me because of uh, to see such people. I only see them on TV. So uh, it was a dream come true today for me. Uh, it was very good. It means that uh, our, our open day this year will perform and uh, I will make sure that they perform. They go all the way this season because of which this last few years they've been slaking. But this season, I'm sure with my, my teacher here, they will go all the way this season. I'm very sure. And I will make sure as the president of the RCL, I'll be there each and every training to make sure that they go all the way this year. It is good to see them to come here and then happy enjoying themselves so that when they go home they, they have something that they've learned in the day because it's not a waste of the day they're supposed to be in class and then they come and see their players and their dream play, players so it's I think it's a good thing if you've got quality infrastructure the kids will feel proud proud of the of the facilities and with the, with the pride comes responsibility and with responsibility comes integrity and I think if you put all those in perspective then you I think you're really laying the foundation for a better future for the kids. The 2013-2014 NetBank Cup round of 16 games has produced over 18 goals in eight fixtures and we wish all the teams that have made it to the last eight round all the best.